breaking news this morning after a loud noise was heard across northwest Louisiana late last night. We're getting reports that a possible meteorite may have hit the ground. Trying to get a handle on this. What in the heck's happening over there in Webster Parish? Sheriff Gary Sexton tells us the exact location not known, but something happened between Minden and Dixie Inn. Fire, ground shaking, you name it, it happened. Tons of Facebook posts rolling in. KSLA News 12's Emily Black with the latest uh, via Skype for us this morning as the officials continue to figure out what in the world happened overnight out there. Emily? That's right, Doug. We've had thousands of reports of an explosion that shook the ground miles from Webster Parish all the way to East Texas at about 1130 Monday night. We talked to Gary Sexton, the sheriff here, who says that, quote, definitely had something happen. Sexton confirmed that all the explosion manufacturing facilities and natural gas facilities in Webster Parish are ruled out as a cause. Sheriff Sexton says it is possible a meteorite hit the ground, and we have confirmed with NASA that there is a meteor shower happening happening above us right now. We haven't pinpoint we haven't pinpointed a location for the possible hit, but Sexton believes, as you said, that it happens between Minden and Dixie Inn, and there's reports as reports of flashing lights and sparks in the sky right when the boom happened. We talked to a man who worked inside the convenience store we're outside of right now who says the walls started shaking, tiles fell out of the ceiling whenever the boom hit. That sounded like something just ran into the side of the building. And as soon as the sun comes up, they're going to send out a helicopter to try and find where that hit. Reporting live in Dixie and Emily Black, KSLA News 12. All right, Emily, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, as long as we don't see fire right now, you got to think we're okay. There's nothing on fire. <laughs> yeah. Nothing's burning. There's no immediate emergency that they're having to deal with. It's just a big mystery, like uh, trying to figure yeah, out what interesting, the heck happened. Well, let me <clears throat> refute the meteor theory. Okay. Mm -hmm. Checking with the National Weather Service, if it were a meteor, and yes, we're in a meteor shower period, the Orionids, but I don't think there would be a piece of that that would make it to the earth without vaporizing. Yeah. But if it did, <clears throat> radar did not pick up a streak, mm -hmm. which it normally would. Mm -hmm. But we had an eyewitness report who left her home in Dixie Inn to drive to try to find whatever it was that hit, and she reported ashes falling onto her car, but they were heavy enough that they sounded like small hail. The Weather Service did confirm right after that explosion, their radar picked up what would be called a low cloud or a debris field. As if ashes something blew falling, up. <clears throat> that it blew up and stuff was coming down enough that their radar picked it up for four revolutions as it drifted northwest and was settling and after four revolutions and I wanted to ask Emily if she could if she's in Dixie Inn I think she's right at that main interchange with the, the gas the, stations and yeah, the if she could see if she could kick up anything in the way of dust or ashes out there well you know I think they were saying they ruled out any kind of well type explosions but I wouldn't be, be anything so from a natural gas out. line. You know, yeah. there's a whole host of ideas, so, mm -hmm. and that's what they're going to try to sort through, and perhaps sun up will reveal Absolutely. a lot more. I think at that point, you're getting up in a helicopter, and you quickly look over the grounds in that see, area, yeah. and you figure it out pretty it's quick. It's definitely yeah. a mystery. Well,